Welcome to the Manic Metallic Podcast, where we respect fashion's past, analyze fashion's present, and get excited about fashion's future. I'm Liberty Gaiman, founder and creative principal of fashion media company Manic Metallic. Several times per week, I'll bring you episodes about exciting things happening in fashion, discussion about current issues facing the industry, and the places and people that have made the fashion industry great. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter and follow us on Instagram at the Manic Metallic Podcast and at Manic Metallic, both linked in our show notes. Now, let's get into today's episode. Welcome to the Manic Metallic Podcast. I'm Liberty, your host. It's Monday, which means that it's time to discuss three things that we're excited about at Manic Metallic. The first for this week is going to be a group called Fashion Group International. Fashion Group International, or FGI for short, was conceived of in 1928 and became an organization in 1930. Some of those founding members might be names that you're probably familiar with. Former Vogue Editor-in-Chief Edna Woolman Chase, business owner and future First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, designer Claire McCardell, and former Harper's Bazaar Editor-in-Chief Carmel Snow. A couple of the organization's goals are, quote-unquote, to advance professionalism in fashion and its related lifestyle industries, and, quote-unquote, to present timely information regarding national and global trends that have an effect on the fashion industries. Now, I joined Fashion Group International's Philadelphia chapter in 2021 in an effort to network and build connections within the fashion industry, and so that I could build mutually beneficial relationships. Because in fashion, I want to not only build connections, but my goal is to help others in the industry in whatever way that I can. And that is a philosophy that I try to bring to our work at Manic Metallic. We at Manic Metallic want to make fashion a better place for all involved. And that is simply not possible if we're only focused on getting as much as we can from everyone that we meet. We must be willing to give back to others and we must be willing to serve and to bring our talents into the industry to help others to succeed. Now, this isn't a sponsored message. I'm just a member of Fashion Group International that believes that FGI offers a lot of value to those in the fashion industry. So if you're interested in finding out more about the organization, visit their website. I will link that in the show notes below, actually, for you to take a look at. So the second thing that we're excited about here at Manic Metallic for this week It's Tom Brown and his continued presence as a part of the New York fashion scene. Now, he's actually going to be showing his collection here for the second season in a row. He's going to be showing his full collection. It's going to be a combined men's and women's showing on April 29th. He delayed the show from February for a couple of reasons. The first being logistics challenges from the Omicron COVID variant. And the second reason being that he wanted a show to be shown around the same time as the second part of the Met Costume Institute's In America, a Lexicon of Fashion exhibit at the Met. So Tom, an Allentown, Pennsylvania native, has actually shown in Paris for a number of years now, since 2017 to be exact. Now, here's what he had to say at the time about the move from New York Fashion Week to Paris. This is a quote taken from an interview at a Dover Street Market event in New York in July of 2017. Quote, I've thought about it for a while, and honestly, I didn't know what the big deal was. I've been showing men's in Paris for a while, so I have a presence there. I loved showing here in New York. And the decision really had nothing to do with New York. It was more the idea that Paris is honestly just a bigger audience. And it was time for our audience to get bigger. Now, around that time, a lot of New York designers were decamping for Paris. And it kind of devastated New York Fashion Week. So the fact that he's come back to our New York calendar for a while is excellent for our fashion industry here in the States. You know, he's one of our more conceptual and interesting and avant-garde designers from this country. And to have him, yeah, to have him decamp for Paris back in 2017 was really, really sad. I mean, we've got a pretty deep well of talent here 
in the New York fashion industry, but losing him, I think, was a gut punch. And so to have him saying that, you know, I'm going to show here for two seasons in a row in order to show support for the American fashion industry is just, it's just a great thing to see happening. So, yep, really happy at that. Now, he did say that he's going back to Paris eventually, which is sad and, you know, unfortunate. But that time frame is TBD. And you never know. Fingers crossed, maybe he'll decide that, you know, he likes the United States and he won't need to go back. But at the same time, you have to understand from his perspective, if he is a more conceptual and avant-garde type of designer, that that work is going to be received a lot more favorably in Paris. And so if he if he has to go back, it's sad, but it's understandable. New York's a more, we have a lot of creativity, don't get me wrong, but we do tend to be a more commercial market in certain ways. But that's just reality. Now, the third thing that we're excited about is Manic Metallic's upcoming coverage at New York Fashion Week. So yeah, we're going to be covering a few New York Fashion Week shows for the fall 2022 collection in February. Really excited for the opportunity to do it. You know, it's our first time going up and covering the shows in person. And for anyone that is a fashion journalist or fashion media personnel in any way, shape or form, um, if you're a fashion editor, whatever position, like what have you participating in New York Fashion Week is always an honor and honestly, it's a dream. And if you're a fashion journalist specifically, going to cover New York Fashion Week, being able to go and, you know, network and get to know the people there. But most of all, getting to go and see the work that designers have on offer and just bask in the creativity and the talent that In this case, New York and in other cases, whatever city that you're in, being able to just like bask in what your city has to offer. It's just, it's so wonderful. So yeah, Manic Metallic will be covering a few shows in February. So really, really excited about that. Now, in terms of what we're covering, you'll just have to wait and see. So keep an eye on our website and our Instagram page for our New York Fashion Week content during that point, which... The shows are going to be February 11th through 16th. And again, as for what days and what shows that we're going to be covering, you'll just have to see. So that's going to be it from us today. These three things certainly have our energy up about fashion. You know, just like the first one, FGI, Fashion Group International, that power and being able to create community within fashion and being able to network with other people and being able to go out and get help when you need it. But way more importantly, being able to help people out with anything that you have to offer, like whatever talents and abilities that you have, being able to give back, being able and willing to serve. Really, really excited about that. So yeah, Fashion Group International, you know, Tom Brown staying in New York to show for the second season in a row. And again, our coverage upcoming at New York Fashion Week from the 11th through the 16th. Excited about all three of those things. And we're feeling that the future is bright, both for Manic Metallic and the fashion industry as a whole. Now, tomorrow, we've got a Who Is episode coming for you. Be sure to tune in. See you then. Thanks for listening. If you got value out of today's episode... It'd mean a lot to me if you rate, review, and subscribe to the Manic Metallic Podcast. Be sure to tell all of your fashion and client friends and co-workers about the podcast as well. This would really help us to spread our message about fashion being an art, discipline, and force for societal change. And don't forget to stay in touch with us by subscribing to the Manic Metallic newsletter and following us on Instagram. Feel free to reach out to us through either of those means. I'd love to hear from you. I'll link these all in the show notes. You're the best. See you next episode.